Hey, what's going on everybody? Akeem here, and in today's Fix of Entertainment news, we're breaking down the Minecraft movie trailer, the new Dragon Ball Dima trailer, and that Venom 3 teaser. Hold on, because we got a lot to cover in today's fix. Let's drop it. <laughs> All right, now we got our first look at the Minecraft movie, and there's a lot to parse out here for Minecraft fans. Now, the opening shot of the trailer features some sort of portal. Not quite sure what type of portal it is. Definitely different from a nether or end portal, unless the movie is reinterpreting the portals in another way. And then we see glimpses of Overworld. Yeah, now you see small towns, villages, mountains, a pink sheep, and the villainous piglins. Uh, everything looks like it was just ran through like RTX, enhancing all the textures and fidelity. Now I want us to really take a look at the piglins because it seems as if they'll be one of the main antagonists in the film, causing all kinds of havoc. Now piglins are monstrous creatures who dwell in the nether, which is an underworld filled with all sorts of monsters. Now they likely won't bother you in game if you have full gold armor. In fact, they'll allow you to mine gold if you're wearing it and get that, you know, that gold rush buff on. Now, back to the trailer. The piglins seem to have chained up those gas creatures. Now, ghasts are large floating jellyfish ghosts you encounter in the nether who shoot fireballs at you. Now, it's kind of weird to, you know, kind of see the ghasts and piglins along with the piglin brutes just running amok in Overworld. That's not their home. This leads me to believe that the nether dwellers are likely planning an invasion of uh, the Overworld in the movie. Now, while we do see a lot of Overworld in the trailer, we do also get glimpses of the nether with a bunch more piglins. But all the way in the background, we see a purple-eyed monster. Now, this could be an Enderman, which are the only known purple-eyed monsters in Minecraft, but this one looks like it has a hunchback, and as we all know, Endermen are typically depicted as these like tall and slender creatures. So, I don't know, could be a, a new version just for this movie? I don't know. And of course, we also see the iconic monster, the Creeper, appearing right behind Jason Momoa's character. Now, speaking of Jason Momoa, his character Garrison is seen in one scene crafting two buckets out of iron. Now, he'll likely be using it to carry, I don't know, milk or lava or some liquid of, of some sort. And in the background of this scene, we see a lot of Minecraft items. You got diamond swords, an ender chest, TNT, potions, painting, iron ingots, and it's a whole lot more. Also, gotta point out this glowing cube the character Henry is holding. Now, not exactly certain what type of block it is, but it could be a diamond block, which can be used to power a beacon. And that beacon usually projects a beam upwards, providing status effects to players within a certain radius. Again, not sure what this cube is exactly, but it definitely seems to be an important item. And of course, we have the iconic Steve making an appearance towards the end of the trailer portrayed by Jack Black. I am Steve. Now, it seems the movie might be going a bit of an, a Jumanji route. I'm talking about Jumanji, the original movie uh, with Robin Williams. You know, perhaps Jack Black Steve is, is from the real world and he somehow got pulled into the overworld in Minecraft and has been lost within Minecraft for several years. Again, I'm getting very much like Jumanji vibes from this. You know, they're definitely gonna have to explain that beard because the Steve I know doesn't have a beard. Now, to me personally, this movie looks like it'll be a fun watch, especially if you have an appreciation for Minecraft. If you ever played Minecraft, I like the approach that they're actually taking with this infusing live action with CGI. You know, I, I don't think we need a, an all CGI Minecraft movie. Like people would just call it a Lego movie ripoff. Now there's likely a logical explanation will be given as we inch ever so closer to the April 4th, 2025 release date as to why these real world people are in an RTX version of Minecraft. Share your thoughts on the Minecraft movie down below.
In other news, check out this new trailer for Dragon Ball Daima. Now in it, we get our first glimpse at Super Saiyan Goku Chibi. Now the new series will be kicking off the 40th anniversary of Dragon Ball featuring the late Akira Toriyama's original story and familiar characters. Now be on the lookout for this anime come October. And finally, we got a small teaser of another symbiote invading the third, presumably final, Venom movie. Venom The Last Dance will see quite a few symbiotes coming to Earth, all looking for Venom, and in the new footage, we get a shot of a symbiote that some speculate could be Toxin, the symbiote we see corrupt the detective at the end of Let There Be Carnage. Now, while some say this shot features Toxin, some are actually speculating that it's actually Lasher, who was created from extracted seed from Venom by the Life Foundation, merging with a security officer forming Lasher. Now, the trailer's subtitles do actually confirm Toxin will be appearing in the upcoming film, but based on the story that'll be playing out in the film, we can expect various other symbiotes to show up as well. Now, since this is supposedly the last dance, for Venom, now would be the perfect time to introduce the creator of all the symbiotes, Noel. You could even tie in the whole Celestials if you wanted to and uh, properly bring Venom into the MCU. Now, Tom Hardy has done a very, very great job, fantastic job with embodying everything we love about Venom. So it'd be, it'd be a bit of a shame to not see him continue to portray the character in the MCU proper. And that about does it for your Fix of Entertainment news for today. I'm McCain, and thank you for watching. Now that you're caught up on today's news, please check out our previous episode. Download the IGN app on all your devices, and for everything else, stick with IGN.